I'm sure we'll have some other people joining us, or hopefully. Um, yeah, but today, um, I've lowered the intensity a little bit, which you might be quite glad to hear, um, because it's very hot. And it, I'm pretty sure it's cooled down now, but I don't want to overdo it and get anybody injured because, um, you know, it's hot, but we'll still get a good workout done. Um, I might have spoken too soon. Oh, is it not saved? Hang on, it's on my computer. Um, I might have spoken too soon with uh, <laughs> lowered the intensity. Hopefully it's okay. Um, it's very similar to female weights in its sort of, um, in its style. Um, and it is, so two supersetted exercises. We usually do three or four uh, in my kind of classes, but we're just doing two in a sort of um, ways they complement each other. So the first superset we have is a chest and tricep. So it's a chest exercise and a tricep exercise. And then we have uh, legs, so we'll have a quads and hamstrings, and then we'll have a back and biceps. And um, so just like you might do once a week in female weights, we're gonna do a superset for each um, muscle pairing, um, just for a bit of fun. Um, it's quite dumbbell focused today. So if you've got your dumbbells, grab those, or any of your dumbbell substitutes, you know, like your cans or your bottles or anything you need. Um, and it's, so two exercises, 20 reps for each exercise, preferably. Um, there are seven supersets, so I reckon we'll probably get through it since we've got 45 minutes twice, hopefully at least, um, but we'll see how we get on. Uh, if it means three times, then three times is good. We'll just see how we sort of get on um, and play it by ear. So um, if you haven't got your dumbbells with you, grab those, and if you've got them, great stuff. Um, <clears throat> it's already half past. Um, let's get started with the warm-up, I reckon. We might as well. Um, Wait, is there much um, sort of running and jumping just because my ankle's a bit dodgy and I could do well, with not sort of um, No, oh. there isn't. Um, I've injured my knee. There's my oh. knee bandage. Uh, <laughs> so um, I'm not going to be doing leg stuff today. Um, sounds like an excuse to skip legs. <clears throat> but I'm just taking, a, uh, taking it easy on my knee for the next couple of days. So yeah. not much running and jumping, luckily, because I tried to cut that stuff, stuff out so I didn't have to show you it. Um, and the leg stuff, there's not too much leg either, um, which is nice. So you should be okay. Um, right, so I'll do the warm up and then I'll talk you through our supersets. All right, let's go. So I started off instantly. I said I'm gonna do less knee stuff and then straight away um, do something that involves knees, which is really, really well planned of me. Uh, but I wanna do some knee rotations, um, which is these ones done these out plenty of times before but it's just bringing the knee up and the elbow to the opposite side like so just getting that mobility in across your body i'm not going to bring this elbow this knee up very high this one's okay moving those hips moving the shoulders and moving the arms We shouldn't really have to uh, warm up too much because we should be all right. Uh, we don't want to get too hot. So a couple more of those. Uh, and then I want to do some reverse lunges. More leg. Yeah, great. <laughs> so you know what you're doing. Um, nice big step backwards, like so. And then bend both the knees and come back up. Great one all out for leg mobility. Not just for strength. When you haven't got any weights, it's not as challenging. So just give those a go, give us a few more reps of those, do those for another 30 seconds or so. So reverse lunges, moving those hips, moving the knees, moving the ankles. A nice little one to do leisurely to warm up with. Here we go. A few more of those, great job. So that straight. Okay. And then we'll do our usual mobility stuff, our rolls. We'll start from our toes and go up to your head. So just the ankle rolls to start off with. Roll one, nice big circle with the heels, as big as you can make it. And then swap to the other leg. There we go. And then we'll do some kicks. So bend that knee on the way back. And then kick yourself forward. It's hard to do slow, but like that. 
So remember to move the knee, not just keep that leg straight. You want to bend the knee, so you move the knee and you're moving the joint up here by your hips. Falling over. And then obviously the, love, the other leg. I'll do a little one. <laughs> Hang on. My little leaning stick. I'll just do the hips and try and keep my leg, stop my knee from bending so much. Okay, and once you've done those, we'll move on to the hips. Um, go away stick. Just a few big circles. We've already done quite a bit of hip movement. And shoulders. Side to side, all the way to one side and all the way to the other. There we go. And just neck from side to side. Step back to you, see me, there you go. Pull, go to one side so you can feel the pull. Back to the neck. And then to the other side. Just gently, nothing too much. You're not snapping your neck. Right, there we go. Mostly mobility stuff um, to get us started because it's already pretty warm. So our first, um, I'm not sure how you, I tell you, I'll talk you through all of them so you get a good idea of the movements. Most of the stuff, stuff we've already done before, um, but if, um, then I'll go back through it more carefully. So I'll run you through all of the supersets um, so you get an idea uh, and then we'll go through them one at a time when we do them, if that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so um, first thing we've got press-ups and overhead tricep extensions. So that's chest chest and triceps for our first um, exercise pairing. So press-ups, a classic. Wrists and shoulders in line, back straight, leg straight. Press the chest before the floor. Try and keep those elbows away from the, uh, or pointing out away from your torso at a sort of 45 degree angle. So you don't want to go too far out like that. You don't want to go too far in. You've got just a nice 45 degree angle and up. And of course you can do them on your knees. I'm not going to bend this knee, but you can do them when you need like that, if that is easier. I wasn't right enough to grab my dumbbells. Right, so next, we do a lot of this. Can't do so much kneeling today. Next, we've got overhead tricep extensions. It's these ones. Dumbbell behind the neck, elbow pointing upwards. Put your hand on your arm to support it, and then press the dumbbell up above your head, like so. Or you put your hand on your core to help stabilize your core. Focusing on extending the elbow, not locking out, just going so your arms are relatively straight and you've extended that tricep and then back down and obviously the other side as well. So we'll do those two, 20 reps of each. Um, and I think we'll see how we get on. I might try and do all of them back to back or we'll do two of them back to back and we'll do a quick rest after each round. I think that's better. We'll do like a 30 seconds rest, catch your breath, grab some water. Uh, and then straight into the other one. It's supposed to be like a minute, two minutes. We'll do quick ones. Um, right, so then we've got goblet squats and dumbbell deadlifts. I probably won't be joining you on <laughs> many of these. But your goblet squat, grab your dumbbell. You can hold it by the plate down here between your legs or up here, up by your chest. And you're just going to push the hips back, bend at the knees and squat. So we'll do 20 of those. And then dumbbell deadlifts, two dumbbells out in front of you, toes pointing forward, keeping your back straight, and just bending over to you feel the pull in your hamstrings. Good stretch, keeping that back straight if you can, and back up. I could do a few of these, but you wanna let your, um, sorry, that was a stiff leg deadlift I just did, unconsciously. Uh, <laughs> um, you can bend your knees, so like this, bring them down to the floor, keeping your arms on the outsides of your, Knees, so not in like that, uh, like that. So pushing, so you're moving the hips as well, sorry. Like so. I actually did a stiff leg one. Uh, and then we've got back and biceps. So you can need both your dumbbells again. So we've got bent over rows. Another one we've done a few times. Slight bend in the knees, nice straight back, leaning forward, pulling the dumbbells in towards your chest squeezing those shoulder blades together when you come up and then relaxing them all the way when you come back down. 
that's 20 reps. Uh, and then hammer curls. Can you see my head? There we go. Hammer curls. Just curling the weight up. No twist in the wrist like that. Just up to about 90 degrees and back down. For 20 reps. Obviously, I'm going to keep saying 20 reps, but everything's 20 reps, so you get the idea. Uh, then we have core. So just two core exercises back to back. Uh, sit ups and cross crunches. So you sit up, knees bent. Um, back flat on the ground, shoulders flat on the ground. And you sit up, look at that. What a great name. Uh, so try not to swing too much, to bring yourself up, because then you're not really using your core at all. Really bring yourself up nice and slow and controlled. And then cross crunches, one leg straight, one leg bent. Opposite elbow to opposite knee. And we'll do 20 of those. Uh, then we have, last two, um, shoulders, so front raise and lateral raise. So you're supersetting the front part of the shoulder and the side part of the shoulder. So your front raise, see my head again. Oh my God, I'm always moving this mat. Um, there we go. Front raise, nice and simple. Dumbbells out in front of you, wrist facing towards you, knuckles pointing at the floor. And raise the dumbbells out in front of you, or one at a time. We'll probably do one at a time so that means 20 on each arm keeping that wrist nice and straight so the knuckles point out away from you you don't want to be doing this or this because you're going to hurt your wrists but just nice and straight and then almost exactly the same thing for the lateral raises slight bend in the elbow re raise them out to the side to about 90 degrees each side you don't have to go you know much higher above your shoulders just go to shoulder height like that so we'll do 20 of these or this and then 20 of these which you probably should do at the same time. Um, and finally, um, this is our full body round. Um, this is a bit of a bonus one, it's a little bit tricky. Um, thrusters and then half power burpees. So you're gonna need to see the floor again for this one. So thrusters, we've done these plenty of times. I'll do this with this lovely pipe here, uh, but obviously you can do them with your dumbbells, hold them together. And that is your squatting down, like so, and then pressing above your head. You can't see my head, but you know, you know the drill, you've done these. Squat and press, uh, but you've got your dumbbells. And then the half power burpee. So usual power burpees, like a regular burpee, but with a, a press up. So you don't do the jump, which for me, I think is the worst part of the burpee. And it means no jumping, which is great. Um, so you just do the press up and then jump your knees in and then back up. So you do everything in the power burpee, just without the jump. Like that. Um, and that is, so those are our seven main supersets. I appreciate that's a lot, and you've probably forgotten what the first two are already. That's fine, I have a memory of a sieve, I don't expect you to remember either. Um, so what we'll do, we'll start with our press ups and tricep extensions, those ones. Um, and then I'll give you 30 seconds to rest after we've done those. And I'll talk you through the other ones just to remind you, 30 seconds, then your 20 reps, 30 seconds, 20 reps. See how we get on. Does that sound okay? There's a little thumbs up? Yeah. Thumbs up. Awesome. Okay. Um, let's get started. Get a quick drink. Okay. So, press ups and overhead extensions to start off with. So, get onto your space, get on the floor. So, you can do this in your own time in the heat of the day. Um, knee press-ups, or box press-ups, or full press-ups, whatever you like. Um, 20 reps, so 20 reps immediately followed by tricep extensions. So make sure you've got your dumbbells handy. Okay, so we'll start this round. In three, two, one, go. If you can't do 20 press-ups in a row, that's all right, we're taking breaks. Try and get 10 and take a little break and then do another five and another five, potentially. Awesome. 
uh, and then get your extensions done. But no rush, do your press ups in your own time. And that is 20 extensions an arm. You can't do 10 each and cheat. Twenty quite a lot. <laughs> There we go. So do these in your own time. No rush. Just make sure you get all the reps done and this with the best form possible. Awesome stuff. a lot of ants, ants in my garden. Um, right, so next thing are legs. So you've got um, goblet squats and deadlifts, which in case you forgot, are these ones. And get another other one, these ones. Like so, 20 goblet squats and 20 deadlifts should be doable. Are we okay? You're all ready to go. You don't need this rest. You don't need the rest. Okay, here we go. Um, three, two, one, go. Nice one. I've gone for the high grip, excellent choice. I feel lazy. Then I'm watching you do it. <laughs> Pretty good job. Excellent. So, we're nearly there. We must be getting near to 20 now. Should have been keeping count. Oh, there we go. Both finishing. Nice one. Okay, I knew we were getting close. So then you've got your deadlifts. So whenever you're ready, take those away. Remember, keep those knees shoulder width apart, not to take your legs too wide. Dumbbells directly out in front of you, wrist straight. Yeah, there we go, Claire, nice one. Sorting out the form. And push those hips back. Try not to let your knees pass over your toes. So push your hips back as far as you can get them. You'll feel it in your lower back more and you won't be so squishy on your knees because um, you're using more hip. Excellent. Great stuff, almost there. Nice one. Love a deadlift, the art of picking up stuff and putting it back down again. Um, so then we have dumbbell rows and hammer curls. So that is back and biceps. So you rest up and I'll quickly demo these ones again, just in case they've escaped your mind. So knee shoulder width apart, toes pointing forward, slight bend in the knee, bend your back over, keep it nice and straight, pull those shoulders back. One, two, three. Really squeeze those shoulders right at the top and then back down and then hammer curls. 
feet together, curl the waist up, and back down. Do the side on for you. Up and down. Try not to like rock them, but I don't think your weights are too heavy, so you should be okay. All right. Um, yeah, we'll just get started. I don't want to put mine down. I can join you for these. Um, <laughs> okay, so rows starting in three, two, one, go. Nice one. Right, just keep those elbows close to your body. Squeeze those shoulder blades. And then onto your uh, hammer curls, not just bicep curls. Remember, just because they're short exercises, don't rush through them. Hold it at the top for a second, back down. Take your time. And there's my 20. How are we both doing? Almost done. Excellent stuff. No need to rush through any of these. Great. Okay. So, can't unlock my phone now. I think it was abs next. It was. Okay. So, sit ups and cross crunches. Point you down to my floor. I'm a little bit off center, you know. It's a bit rush. I don't know. Right. So, nice easy one. It's only 20 reps, like everything else. 20 sit ups and then 20 cross crunches. I might only do a few of those. <laughs> okay. Um, we will start in three, two, one, go. Remember, start, I mean, it seems obvious, but start with those shoulders off the floor, then start with the lower back and then come up at the hips instead of your whole thing coming up at once. You can sort of slightly tear it. So there's a little bit of shoulder and then lower back and then hips. Okay, and then cross crunches when you're ready. Try and keep that low leg as straight as you can, really point it out, because you'll be using your core the whole time just to hold it out. Bring the elbow to the knee and swap. Brilliant. They're quite quick, these. Doesn't mean you have to rush, but quick means we can get them done. Excellent. Look, you go. Brilliant. Okay, so two more supersets left after this one. So you're on the home stretch now. Just get your next 30 seconds of rest in. Uh, we have shoulder, our shoulder superset. So front raise and lateral raise. 
Let me stand myself up a bit more. There we go. So you know the drill. We'll do 20 on each arm front raise. One, one, two, two, could be a long one. <laughs> and then 20 lateral raise. One, two, try and go for 20, but since they're such similar movements, even on the front raise where you're mainly hitting your front delt here, you're gonna be feeling it in the side as well. So by the time you get to these ones, you're gonna be hurting all over. So um, obviously in a good way. Um, so do your best. If you only get 10, 15, that's okay. But shoot for 20 if you can, just try your best. Okay, so starting in three, two, one, begin. Try and keep that control so they don't just drop down. That's a good draw. Stuff looks like we're moving on. 20 of these. I was doing some lateral raises before the class began, just keeping myself busy, training some shoulders. So I'm definitely feeling these ones. It's like my fifth set. <laughs> you guys already done? No, not yet. There we go. Thought you'd all beat me to it. <laughs> um, excellent. Nice one, Joss, all done, Claire, all done. So last round now, a full body round, thrusters and power burpees. So we're familiar with the thruster, dumbbells up by the shoulders, squat and thrust, and then half, sorry, power burpees. So walk back to the floor. Just a reminder that it's half, press up, Jump up and out. I tell you what we'll do. Since it's the last round of this time around, we will do just 10 of these. Because they're difficult, aren't they? I think 10, that's fair. Because especially those half power burpees, 20 is going to feel like you're doing them forever. Because um, it's like doing 20 press-ups plus 20 squat thrusts. So we'll just do 10 of each. Um, so get yourself ready. Get yourself in a good space for thrusters. I'm going to cut myself out. Cut, cut myself. Count myself out of these ones. Um, Okay, so we'll start in three, two, one, go. So do your best, get nice and low, and then push up on your way up. You can use your momentum to get those shoulders, um, get the weights off your shoulders. Awesome. And this is like the CrossFit Games. Brilliant, I can see you guys there, in the stadium now. They love a good dumbbell thruster in CrossFit, they do. So just 10, remember? Um, 10 of those and then 10 half power burpees. So on the floor, press up and then uh, like squat thrust. So just do what you can, bring those knees up close to your chest. 
you should be feeling it in your core as well. You're engaging that core when you bring yourself in, tightening it up, and then it's kicking your legs back out and you straighten it out again. All right, and we've just gone past seven o'clock, which means we've only got 15 minutes left. So once you're done with these, we'll do a nice, slightly longer cool down because you've made it to the end. But keep going, you haven't made it to the end yet. Um, and then we will do everything again, but for 10 reps and with as little rest as possible. And that should take us to the end, time for some cool down. Brilliant stuff, well done, Joss. Good finish, and Claire, are you done as well? Oh, no, not yet, keep going, keep going. Sorry, I spoke too soon. <laughs> Awesome, so now we're both done. Just like I said, we'll try and do everything again. Take a rest now, grab your water. Really important to hydrate in the weather. I'm glad it's cooled down a bit now because two hours ago this was feeling a bit daunting. Um, but it's still cool down because it's still hot just because it's coming to the end of the day. Um, so hydration, key. Um, yeah, so we'll do everything again. 10 reps, as little rest as possible. I'll give you a little bit of rest in between each exercise while we transition and change over. Um, so it'll be a challenge. There'll be a final push to the end. We'll try and do 10 minutes and then the last five minutes we'll do some stretching, some cooling down, okay? So, starting off with press-ups and overhead extensions again. Um, you don't have to start now if you don't want to, unless you're really eager to go. You can have a little bit more rest if you like. It looks like you're ready to go. Right, let's do it. <laughs> you put yourself in it now, you're ready to go. Okay, so press-ups and tricep extensions. Uh, that's okay, okay. So. Just 10, 10 press ups and then 10 press extensions to each arm. Um, take it away. So, three, two, one, begin. Okay, set myself up even more. Oh. Uh, oh. Now I feel really far away. Nice one, so 10 on each arm. Let's finish those up. It's just the problem, my internet was unstable. You've all frozen. Hopefully you'll unfreeze freezing. So. <laughs> well, you're all gonna be staring at me like, what's next? Oh no, they're all frozen. I'm assuming you can still, oh, you're back, you're back. Nice one, okay. <laughs> oh, no, frozen again. It's all right. Anyway, next one, I'm, I'm assuming you can see me because usually, yeah, there we go. You can see me all right? Okay, good. Sorry about that. My internet must be terrible outside. Um, we have goblet squats and dumbbell deadlifts. So straight onto those. Let me get some room on the floor. Well, I'll leave you to those. Maybe I'll do some deadlifts. Um, right, take it away. Go, go, go. Just 10. Just That's five. 10. Just 10. 10 goblet squats and then straight into those deadlifts. Brilliant stuff. Awesome, so both dumbbells now, all the way over. Try and keep that back straight. It's uh, this one, bend and back up. Bend to the knees and the hips and up, like that. So your arms, they don't really do anything. Your arms sort of act as more like ropes, just holding the weights at the end at their own free will. And it's really your back and your hips and your hamstrings doing most of the action. Awesome, so once we've got 10 of those, we are moving straight on to back and biceps. So we've got rows and then hammer curls. So keep your dumbbells with you. Straight on to the next one. Um, in fact, oh, I've already done myself to you. Cool, okay. Starting in three, two, one, go.
10. Once you're going 10 rows, then you've got 10 hammer throws. Some nice one. So we've done those, done back and biceps. I believe it's probably core now, if I remember correctly. It is. So sit ups and cross crunches. Just another 10. So get yourself onto the floor uh, and we will start. Blast my phone. Okay, all right, we're ready to go. So we're starting three, two, one, go. Remember what I said about bringing the shoulders off the floor, then the back, then the hips. Well, the hips kind of stay on the floor, but that's the last thing to do any movement in this part. And I wasn't counting. I think I was on five. I think this is five. <laughs> There's 10 and then cross crunches whenever you're ready. Let's try and do a couple. Nice job. <laughs> so just 10 of those. And then we've got our shoulder superset. Straight onto that when you're ready. And that's only 10 reps again, so it should be easier. 10 on each arm for front raise, and then 10 lateral raises as well. Awesome. Okay, so we'll get started in three, two, one, go. I've done my front raises now. And then onto your lateral raises when you're ready. Nice one, finish shows up. Remember leading with the elbow. You're all done already. Why am I giving you spotting advice? You guys know what you're doing. Did a really good job. And the last one, we've got thrusters and half power burpees. So don't forget those dumbbells. You're gonna need those. Uh, 10, 10 of each, just like before. Uh, we won't cut these any short, otherwise it's not it's too easy. Um, so 10 thrusters, 10 half power burpees. Get started in three, two, one, take it away. At your own speed. Try thrusters to start off with, which is these ones. Two. There's ten of those. Josh, you started with power burpees, but that's okay. You do those and then do your thrusters. <laughs> do it your own way. Find your own journey. I'm just flexible like that, I don't mind. <laughs> so remember, it's only 10. Nice one. They're already cracking with those half power burpees. Josh just starting on those thrusters, really good job. Just finish those up, we'll get started, but you're on the last exercise now. Final push, and then we'll cool down. Nice 
Nice one. Keep going. Get to your 10. Claire, well done. You've made it to the end. Josh, you're nearly there. You're almost done. And you're done. You're both done. Excellent job. Really good job today, guys. Uh, especially since I've been uh, <laughs> not doing some of them. Um, so well done for doing them without me. Hats off to you. Uh, we'll start with some cooling down. Let's do some stretches. Let's start with the back one. How about you? I'm feeling my back a little bit today. Don't know what I've done. Um, so we'll do the tricep and back because I like to combine my stretches. Um, so just put your hand behind your head, elbow up to the sky, grab the elbow with the opposite arm, pull it towards the head, feel the stretch in your tricep. And once you've got that, lean to the side and feel the stretch in the side of your back there. You're gonna hold it. Okay, and then the other side. Should be all right. Maybe some stretch for my lower back. I can feel it there as well. Um, so we'll do that in a minute. Uh, what do we, we'll do chest. We've done some chest today. Same as usual, locking the hands behind your back, hands down by your hips, and then pull them out behind you like so. Pulling the shoulder blades back, let, pushing that chest out, and feeling that stretch in the front of your chest. Excellent, okay. And then shoulder, arm across your body, hand just below the elbow, and pull it across. Keep pulling that, room to breathe. Okay, on the other side. go uh, and then we'll do we'll get on the floor and we will do this one for lower back and core we'll do a cat cow or a cat camel as it's sometimes referred to that hurts so on all fours and you want to push your stomach towards the floor bend your back and stretch out that stomach just a bit it's not as good as your normal core stretch but you're really tightening the back here and then bend your back um, up, let's bring your spine up as high as you can get it, keeping those shoulders or your hands on the floor and your shoulders straight. So you're stretching the back now and then back to your cat. So your cat and cow and or camel. <laughs> Just hold it on each end for a bit and then on the other. Last one. And back. There we go. Um, what else have we got? We'll do one more core. In fact, no, we haven't done that much core today. Um, so we should be all right. Um, we only did two exercises. It's better than what we usually do. We usually do loads. Um, what have we done? Shoulders, back, tricep. Should be all right with bicep. I think we're probably okay. Did we do legs? Did we do legs? I can't remember what our first one was now. Now we'll do legs, we'll do some legs. Right, so we'll just do a quick hamstring one and then we'll, and then we'll finish up. Um, so that is one leg straight and the other leg bent. Like so, push down on the bent leg, bring that toe up towards you as much as you can. You should feel the stretch in the back of your leg there. Push down. And the harder you push or the closer to the knee you get, the more strain on the hamstring you should feel. Remember to keep that toe pointing up as far up as you can get it. 
Okay, and it's off legs. I'm going to sit on this leg for a little bit. Just I don't want to push down too hard on the knee. Which isn't too bad. And back up. Excellent stuff.